people say that quizzing is the new rock and roll. Sorry. Is it? I'm so sorry. Nobody says that quizzing is the new rock and roll. But it could be the new musical theatre. This quiz, for example, is enigmatic. It's problematic. It's mathematic. Why it's... I'm going to stop there before someone gets hurt. Let's meet two new teams starting on the road to possible championship. On my right, Emily Phillips, a puzzles compiler and modern languages graduate who speaks French, Spanish, Portuguese, German and Finnish. Richard Colfer, a physics and computing graduate with a passion for science fiction and a talent for playing Peggle. And their captain, Robin Seville, a modern languages graduate with an interest in creative writing who once performed a duet with Rowan Atkinson. They all work as puzzle compilers for the Press Association. They are the Press Gang. So, Robin, that sounds like a solid team of puzzlers, but how good is the team's general knowledge? Well, we spend a lot of time compiling puzzles and proofing puzzles, so um, I would like to think that we know more than we think. And tell me honestly, in all your years of puzzling investigation and research, have you ever come across one that's cleverer than only Never connect? in my life. This is the pinnacle. A right answer immediately. You're going to do well. You're facing tonight on my left, Tim Spain, a research scientist with a PhD in physics who enjoys making bread. Matt Robotham, a tax lawyer and keen marathon runner with a talent for pumpkin carving. And their captain, Peter Stegel, a speechwriter and former civil servant who enjoys visiting historical buildings and baking crumbles. United by their love of the culinary arts, they are the bakers. Peter, what's been the highlight of your baking career? I think I made a pear crumble a couple of years ago with a very nice almond topping. Interesting. A liquid, was it, or a sort of dry, scattered almond topping? Oh, well, you replace half of the flour with ground almond dust and uh, use that to make a lovely crunchy top. Interesting. My granny used to make a chocolate cake with ground hazelnuts instead of flour. Dense. But delicious, I'm sure. It is delicious. Let's get on with the quiz. In round one, teams, I simply want to know what's the connection between four apparently random clues. The fewer clues you need to see before giving me the right answer, the more points you get. Press gang, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, water, please. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Sonny Lee. Next, please. Let's see this. Next, please. Let's see this. 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 They can all talk. They are inanimate objects that can talk. Very well done. You didn't need to see the last clue. The Queen's Mirror in Snow White, which talks in the cartoon. Tell me about that first one. It's the candlestick. candlestick from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. That's right, a talking candlestick. And Dora the Explorer's backpack. What's its name? Fred. David. No, sorry, I'm, I've no idea. Just the it's first backpack. Name its name is backpack. <laughs> Imaginative. Yeah. Like a rock star's child. It's called backpack. <laughs> So, well done. You're off the blocks with two points. Over to the bakers to pick a question. Lion, please. OK, lion. What is the connection here? First clue coming up now. Okay. Next, please. Next, please. from other countries. One more. Next, please. We think they're all founders of countries. That's exactly what they are. They are founding fathers of nations. Which nations? Uh, Bernardo O'Higgins, I believe, is Chile. That's right. Freed Chile from Spanish rule. Uh, Kemal Ataturk is Turkey. Absolutely. And Prince William I of Orange would be the Netherlands. That's right. And Jose Rizal? No. no. Philippines, in fact. A Filipino nationalist. They're all founding fathers. Well done to you. And back to the press gang to pick a question. Uh, can I have Twisted Flax, please? Absolutely. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Your team, this is what something you want in a musical instrument, isn't it? Uh, next, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it something you get from some sort of food or drink? Should we move on? Yeah. Next, please. Oh, gosh, this is waves. Waves to do waves. Some more waves. Um, should we go for waves? I'm not sure. Next, please. That's waves. <clears throat> These are all waves. Can you tell me any more than that? With a cyclic motion. They come and they go. Um, oh, I'll take it. Waves. I can't bear this misery. It's your first visit. We've only just started. They're based on sine waves. Were you saying that, Richard? Yes, sine waves? Sorry. That's right, like my voice in the morning. Sinusoidal. OK. On uh, oscillating or repetitive waves. But well done, you get a point. And back to the bakers for a question. Two reads, please. Two reads. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? First one coming up now. Next, please. Next, please. Ah. It's the Red Sea. It's the Red Sea. OK. Uh, all right. Is that all? Oh, no, no. Green card. It's black, brown, and green card. Red Sea, I think. So it's a coloured thing. Yeah, it's Let's go for it. Colours. Keep talking. Uh, they are... They've all got... They're all a colour something, so a green card, the Red Sea, a black rhino. On this occasion, I'm afraid I can't take it, and that's partly because there's already been a mistake in your gloss of the answers. So I'm going to show the fourth clue to the press gang for a possible bonus point. They're yes. Not, they're not the colour. Yes, they called. are not the colour they are called. A black rhino is not black, the red sea is not red, the black box is not black, and the green card is white, not green. They have colours in their names that do not apply to what they are. It's actually a white rhino. Yeah. And had you known the name, it might have helped. But yeah. so many things have colours in the names. Yeah. But they're misnomers, colour misnomers. Mm -hmm. So you get the bonus point. Well done, press gang. Mm -hmm. And your choice of a question. Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Do you know what that is? Next, please. Something you have to do at this point. Should we risk it? I don't know. Um, it's just a guess, really. Next, please. Knock three times. You have to knock three times. Precisely the answer, and the final clue was Black Rod summoning the MPs. But you knock three times to achieve these things. Well done. Back to you, Bakers. There's one more question. It's the Horned Viper. The music question, of course, because we haven't had that yet, so shout next when you want to hear the next clue. Here's the first. Next, please. Is it the Sky Bait song? Is it? Is it not? Oh, uh, next one. Yeah. Next, please. Like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel. Never ending or beginning on a never spinning next wheel. Yes. Like next a please. I saw a mouse where there on the oh, stairs. Okay. Where on the stairs? Windmills. Windmills is the link. I think you recognise the last two. Do you know what the first two were? I couldn't even begin. <laughs> The first one was Don Quixote's Madness, A Battle with the Windmill. Uh -huh. That piece is called, and the second was the song for Moulin Rouge. The theme from that Moulin Rouge, the red windmill. But you get the point, well done. At the end of round one, the bakers have got two points. The press gang are ahead with six. <laughs> round two is sequences. There are still four connected clues, but the fourth clue is invisible because that is the answer. The teams may see up to three before buzzing in. The press gang, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Lion, please. OK. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. That's not a circle. Um, uh, next, please. That's down four, that's down four, so down three would be, would be four. Two, three, four. 
two cuts, four pieces. Is the right answer. And why? Richard? Um, just uh, going by the number sequence, so cuts are going down one each time, uh, pieces are going down five, then four, then three. I haven't recognised what it's from. Though. You're not recognising it as a piece of maths? Uh, no. Are you familiar with this, Bakers? I think it's the maximum number of pieces you can get from making that number of cuts in a thing. Yeah, that's exactly right, and it's a mathematical thing. If you cut a circle, it's the maximum number of pieces you can make, known as the lazy caterer's sequence. <laughs> but you as bakers would know, if you actually cut up a cake five times and made 16 pieces, some people would be really short-changed on the pieces. There'd be a nice big piece for me and strange little cuts <laughs> for everyone else. But well done for the point, and bakers, it's your question. Water, please. OK, these are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next, please. Four holes, three holes, two holes, one hole. One hole, what happened? One hole, one hole. Yeah, does anything have it? Yes, I mean, minty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. A minty sweet. A round one, with a hole in. Are you trying to say polo mint? Yes. yes. That is allowed. I'll accept <laughs> it as an answer. We chose a donut. I'm surprised ah. you didn't. Perhaps you can explain the logic. Uh, a button has four holes, mm -hmm. a bowling ball three, uh, your mask there has two, and a donut just the one. Something with one hole, we chose a delicious sugary donut. Yum, yum, yum. Well done, you get the points. And back to the press gang to choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. Eye of Horus. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Four my counties. Next, please. That is a new, that is current, that yeah. exists. Um, yes, okay. Next, please. It could be by population. So. Yeah, so the next one would be bigger or smaller. Greater London. Greater London. Is the right answer. And why is that? Um, populations of these areas. Decreasing in size or increasing in size. <laughs> That's right, cover everything. Actually, it works whether you do it by population or surface area. They are the largest urban areas in the UK going okay. upwards. Okay. Bakers, your turn. Uh, horned Viper, please. Horned Viper, what's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, all right, let's move on, yeah. Next, please. One outstanding, I think it's Austin. One outstanding. Okay, let's do it. One outstanding. An outstanding answer for three points. And why is that? I believe it's the grades in Ofsted reports. That's exactly what it is, Ofsted grades. That number three requires improvement. Do you know what that used to be? I could say, but probably not on TV at this time. <laughs> it was satisfactory. But then someone decided that satisfactory <laughs> meant satisfactory. requires improvement. Not in my dictionary. But yes, beloved Ofsted, hello to you. Outstanding would be number one. Press gang, your turn. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. You need more than that. Uh, next, please. Four, um... Four. No, a good day today. I'm, I'm afraid I can't oh. accept this, I can't. It's Sorry. been too long. I'm going to show the third in the sequence to the bakers for a possible bonus point. A good day to 2013. I'm not going to accept it. Maybe you can talk me through your thinking. Uh, well, I think these are the Die Hard sequels. It is the Die Hard sequels, as I think you all know, but it is the last word in the title. That's what uh, makes it exact. Die Hard 2, yeah, Die Hard yeah. with a Vengeance. Die Hard 4.0, yeah. and in 2013, A Good Day to Die Hard. hard. So you got the yeah. film right, but not the exact sequence. Yeah. Hard was the answer. Nevertheless, your turn for a question, and there's only one left, so you'll get the twisted facts. What's the fourth in the sequence? Here's the first. Never yeah. Next, please. It's the proper bus. Next, please. So who is the first? They've all done something. Uh, they've all covered something, probably. Uh, 
probably. He was a good old, he was a good old singer, the picking name. Three seconds. First, Janis Joplin. That's so spectacularly wrong. But thank you. And uh, we'll go over to the press game for a possible bonus point. What did I say? OK. First, Sandy Shaw. That I can accept. We actually had first box fizz. Why is it? The position they finished. Uh, yes, these are people who represented Britain in the Eurovision Song Contest and won. Uh, or Sandy Shaw won, as did Bucks Fears, and probably not many others. That's it. It's UK placings in the Eurovision Song Contest. People that came fourth, third, second and first. I could have taken Lulu or Katrina and the Waves. Janis Joplin, I'm as certain as I can be, never represented the UK. I'm sure she was a fan. In Eurovision. I mean, that would have been an amazing year. <laughs> but no. At the end of round two, then, the Bakers are up to eight points, but Press Gang are ahead with 11. <laughs> Time for the connecting wall, a plethora of clues, 16 to be precise, all jumbled up, need sorting into four connected groups of four. Bakers, you'll be going first this time. You've got a choice, lion or water? Uh, water, please. OK, two and a half minutes you've got to solve the water wall, starting now. OK, all right. of rice. These are yes. Disney... Um, princesses. Jasmine. Uh, there are American Ivy League colleges. There are types of rice. Yeah, like Borio, Basmati, and Jasmine. Jasmine. Okay. Oh. Is it popcorn? Uh, you guys think about the other things, not um, I think things. then we have got tutor at all. Is that true? Tutor kind of rice, perhaps? Okay. Sorry? Uh, I don't think it's a um, princess. Oops, I was doing it. All right, um, forget that. OK. Pocahontas, yep. Cinderella, Snow White, Jasmine. No. They've tried. They've tried. What other princesses are there? Do you think that's princess? Uh, what is Marida? our boy other than Marida? Marida. Mm. Marida is a princess, do you think? Did that sounds very princess. No. Uh, well done. Now, remember, it's three strikes and you're out. OK. okay. okay. Two groups. So you got... Arborio, Basmati are definitely rices. Yep, yep. Mm. Uh, Chout, Trapeze, Popcorn, Romeo and Juliet, Cinderella. Well, shall we select the two rices that we think we know? We think those are rices. OK, what can the other things be? Are these films? Trapeze, Romeo and Juliet, Cinderella, Popcorn? Uh, popcorn, yep. Certainly a number of them are. Uh, that would leave Chout and Bomber, Bomber, which seems like a plausible yeah. kind of uh, rice. Um, Bomba, what could be other than what is pop films? Right, as Remy and Juliet. Um, is it Buzz Lemon films? Maybe. Buzz no, because that's Remy. That's Juliet, isn't it? I'm not sure. I think it is. You're right. So Have should we try, try Chut and Bomba? Bomba? No. no. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Arborio, Basmati. We think are rices. Yes. Yeah. They may not be, of course. Yes. Um, <laughs> Cinderella, um, popcorn Cinderella. artist, no, you've got popcorn rice, popcorn shrimp, popcorn shrimp, popcorn shrimp, popcorn shrimp, popcorn shrimp, shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. Popcorn. are they words from Italian? Basmati, basmati, yeah, we've got two, oh sorry, let's try these fellas, yeah? Yep, okay. About ten seconds. That no, that's just the tried. same as we just tried, so let's try that one. That's it, you've solved the wall with just a few seconds to spare, so that's four points immediately. Bonus points, of course, for the groups. So the first one, Brown, Columbia, Yale, Cornell. Uh, US schools. That's it. Any more? Ivy League. Ivy League American universities, that's right. What about this now? Snow White, Pocahontas, Merida or Merida Jasmine. Now, we think these are Disney, Disney princesses. They are Disney princesses. Which one didn't you know? Merida. Merida. From Brave, ah, one of the more oh, obscure yeah. ones. OK, next group. Romeo and Juliet, shoot or shoot... Trapeze Cinderella. Uh, we think they're Baz Luhrmann films. <laughs> they are not Baz Luhrmann films. They are Prokofiev ballets. Oh. More cartoons than ballet in wow. your life, a clearly. Bit, maybe, yes. They're starting to look like it. OK, what about the last group? Basmati, Bomba, Popcorn, Arborio. Yeah. We think it's rice. They are types of rice. Which one's bamboozled you there? Bomba and popcorn are both a bit tricky. I think I've heard of popcorn rice, but not bomba. A bomba is a sort of Spanish paella rice. Popcorn, not actually popcorn. It's a Louisiana pecan rice, I think it's known as. 
and it smells like popcorn when cooked. But you do get four points for the groups you found, three more bonus points for the connections. That's a total of seven. We're going to bring back the press gang to have a go at a connecting wall. Sixteen more scrambled clues still need unscrambling into four neat groups of four. Have you all played the walls online? Um, oh, yes. Are yeah. you thinking this is going to be a strong round for you? We hope so. Let's find out. It's the lion wall you're going to get because water's been taken. Good. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Romantic, oh, she knows it's happening. Caesar Type salad. Food. Caesar salad. salad. Oh, Blue cheese salad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. West Side Story, story. Toy Story. Yeah. Bedtime Story, Love Story, yeah, Normal go, stories. Go stories. West Side Story, Toy Story, Bedtime Story, Love Story. No. LA is a story. story. Well. That's a film, that's a film, okay. that's a film. Okay. Mm, no, no, that's a film. Okay. Good lord. Okay, uh, leave out Leave out Okay, okay, we've got right. some stories. Fertility is rude. is a type of poetry, symphony. romantic poetry. Okay, yeah. Um, tragic. Tragic symphony, pastoral tragic symphony, romantic, romantic symphony. Italian, perhaps? Italian symphony, someone's done an Italian symphony. There's some sure. salads, there's some salads. A ranch salad. ranch dressing. Okay. Blue cheese dressing, maybe. Utility, what's that? Utility room, heroes. Room. There's Hound some dogs, there. maybe toy. Hound dogs, utility dog, toy dog. Is there a fourth dog? Um, no, there isn't. What's Italian? Heroes in? Have you got any idea for that? Heroes, that's a, that's TV, a TV show yeah. of some kind, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so should, should we try some of these? Let's try something. Let's try the dogs. It, Do we know the dogs? dogs? Are there four dogs? Utility, toy, hound ha dog, uh, yeah, waffle dog. Right. Do okay. Symph symphonies then? Okay, Italian symphony, pastoral symphony, this, uh, yes, romantic and tragic. Mm. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, um, Wafu, does that mean anything to anybody? Um, no. no. Okay, let's try and leave that to the fourth round. Um, did we do is. Let's see, it's let's heroic. Salads, go, go on, on then. Yeah, go ahead, what go else? ahead, press it. Um, uh, Italian, Italian salad. salad. Ranch salad? Ranch is a dressing. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe this is a salad. Mafu. Well done. Right. Right. Um, dogs. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two or three dogs. Yes. We've got 30 seconds. Do we do them? I don't, I don't see any other dogs. There, there okay. is another dog. Go, 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 go. Come on. Now, what does that leave us? An Italian dog? Yeah, mm -hmm. Small Italian. Italian have we done the Italian see. symphony? Yes. No, come on, time, time, about time. 10 seconds. Okay. Just a couple of lives. Sure we've tried that, though, have yes, we? Yes, we have. Um, okay. Toy Symphony. <laughs> Five seconds and one more go. No, that's it. Your three lives are out. The wall's frozen, but... That's a shame. Two points for the groups you found and more points for the connections. What about this? Love, Bedtime, L.A., Westside. Uh, films with end of story. That's right. Put story on the end of all of them and you get a film title. And this one, Ranch, Blue Cheese, Wafu, Caesar. I think you said it's salads or dressings? Yeah. Or types of salad. Salad dressings? No. Types Which of, of those is your answer? Types of salad. I'm afraid I just can't take it. They are dressings. Oh. I just... Wafu is really not a salad. It's a mm. vinaigrette made with soy sauce, popular mm, in Japan. I'm, okay. You're close, but I can't take it. You can still get points, though, for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Utility, pastoral, toy, hound. The dogs, then. Pastoral? I think so. Pa uh, types... I'm going to say it. Types of dog. Absolutely. They are kennel club groups of dog. Pastoral, you didn't know. It's dogs bred to work with livestock. So it's collies, collies, that sort of thing. A Welsh yeah. corgi, I think, is a pastoral, so they are dogs. And the last one. Romantic, Italian... Heroes and Tragic. Uh, at least three of those are symphonies, so we're going to hope that the fourth one is too. They are all symphonies. Yeah. They've actually got something more in common even than that, you could have a guess for. I only know one romantic. Uh, written by symphony. Russians. Uh, no, they're not all written by Russians. No, they're all four symphonies, as it happens. I'm assuming Heroes is the one you didn't know. Yes. Philip Glass. Philip Glass's fourth symphony, okay. Heroes. But they're all symphonies, so two points for the groups you've found and three more points for the connections. That's a total of five. Let's see what that does to the scores going into the final round. The Bakers have got 15 points. The Press Gang have 16 points. 
So it's all very close. And speaking of close, look at your laptop, only just over there. On it, you'll find our website with many more connecting walls that you can play. And if it's not enough, you can write your own. Meanwhile, though, we're going to play the missing vowels round, the well-known sentences, phrases, names or titles from which we've removed the vowels and respaced the consonants. What are those hidden clues? Put your fingers on the buzzers, please, teams. Speak carefully, as you'll lose a point for getting things wrong. The first group are all styles of cooking. Bakers? Fusion. Correct. Press gang? Nouvelle cuisine. Correct. Bakers? Molecular gastronomy. Correct. Bakers? Southern Italian. Delicious. Next category, things removed in the game operation. Press gang? Broken heart. Yes. Bakers? Bunny bone. Yes. Bakers? Butterflies in the stomach. Correct. Bakers? Adam's apple. Correct. Next category, major railway stations. Press gang? Waterloo. Correct. Press gang? Grand Central. Of course. A tricky one. In Tokyo, it's Shinjuku. Next clue. Bakers? Gardinor, no. It is Gardinor, correct. Next category, fictional rodents. Press gang? Stuart Little. Correct. Bakers? Rasta Mouse. Yes, it is. Bakers? Ruby Cheap. Yes, it is. Don't know this one. It's Angelina Ballerina. Next category, TV series set in the 1950s. Press gang. What would you have said? Happy day. And you'd have been right, but too late, because it's the end of the quiz. And looking at the final scores, the press gang finish with 21 points, but ahead with 24, it's the Bakers. So well done to you, Bakers. You are now on the fast-track route towards the semi-final. Press gang, you're moving on to the more scenic route, <laughs> but you can still get there. Thank you all very much for playing. Thank you for watching. Join me next time for another episode of Only Connect, the quiz which is definitely a case of what you know, not who you know. Unless you happen to be friendly with one of our question setters. But to be honest, I've met them and that's extremely unlikely. Goodbye. <laughs>still to come this evening here on BBC4 Horizon has a brand new guide to plane crashes with impact in just a moment and then more Horizon as Professor Brian Cox looks back over 40 years on the moon stay with us